and breaking overnight, forget a crowbar or baseball mm. bat to break into a store. Thieves used an SUV as a battering ram for a smash and grab. CBS 2 Sarah Maki following the search for the thieves live in the Tri Taylor neighborhood. What can you tell us, Sarah? Yeah, guys, a lot of people have been stopping by to check out the damage after this very eye catching crime. So much to clean up out here. Now, owners say this is not the first time they've been burglarized and they wonder if it is worth reopening. I want you to take a look at some of the video from earlier today where you could really see the scope of the damage of this brazen and dangerous crime on Taylor near Levitt. Already a lot of work has been put in to clean up the store, the car involved pulled out of the way, but police are telling us that a team drove an SUV through the front door and the security gate of Flea Club, which does have an alarm system, but no overnight security guard. Investigators then say five to six people inside the SUV then jumped out, grabbed some of the merchandise in the store. You could see broken glass all around, clothes and shoes on the floor. Flea Club is selling high-end sneakers and designer streetwear. Here's what one owner had to say about this latest break-in. Just tired of it. Yeah. I'm just trying to make a living. Yeah, I'm really going to have to think if I want to open back up. It's just like, how many times can you get hit? We talked to the owners who say that they estimate $20,000 to replace the glass alone. That is a big price tag for them because they've been burglarized so much. They tell us that they are no longer covered by any insurance company. They say that they haven't been inside to check out the full scope of what they lost either because this is now considered a structural risk that damage there. They also tell us that they're not sure if they're going to be reopening. Police saying that the people who were inside that store then left on foot, came out here where they hopped into some cars that were waiting for them. Live in Tri-Taylor, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. All right, Sarah, thank you.